It was the year 2000XX, and Earth had finally achieved an extended period of peace. Dr. Wily seemingly vanished, permitting the world to focus once more on true progress. However... Mega Man, fearing this peace would not last, recruited eight willing robot masters and began training them to combat any force of evil, should it dare arise. To aid Mega Man's coaching, Dr. Light created a new robot, Justice Man. Justice Man would possess abilities and weaponry similar to Mega Man's. And he would also share Mega Man's strong sense of justice. One fateful day, a group of robots began rallying against their creators. You must forgive any in initial show of force. I had wished for a peaceful evacuation of human personnel. But some of my comrades were simply too zealous. None were injured, and it will remain that way if... remain off our premises. Our purpose will be made clear to you soon enough. Mwahahahaha! <laughs> News of the rebellion spread rapidly throughout the world, causing panic. However, Mega Man saw this as an opportunity to test his team, the Rock Force. He sent out the Rock Force to subdue the rebellious robots. But none of the team returned. With communications down, Mega Man knew he had to act. I'll get to the bottom of this! I'll save my friends and bring those rebels to justice. Hello and welcome to Gomer Plays Mega Man Rock Force. Wow. <laughs> I knew the intro was going to take a while, so obviously I went ahead and read it. Uh, yeah, it wasn't perfect. Um, here, this is one of those really great fan-made Mega Man games. I, I would actually put it on the part with uh, Mega Man Unlimited. Uh, you can even, you know, you have your regular controls, difficulty settings. Uh, so far, no gamepad support as far as I've seen, but they have that whole key to joy, joy to key, or whatever the hell the pro that program's called. Joy to key, there it is. Um, because it's right there on my screen. <laughs> um, but it's one of those things you can set it up, and while it's not the best, it, it works for what it is. Now, you can set difficulty settings, which is what I'm going to do here. Stage and boss difficulty, I'm going to keep them at normal, lives, I'm going to have them at infinite, because there are certain spots where I really don't want to have to play through the entire stage again if I fuck up too much. Uh, Mega Man 2 spike damage, you could have it that. Mega Man 1, where the um, invincibility frames will not save you, you can have it take off only a quarter life, half life, and then totally fatal. Uh, everything else normal. Four checkpoints. Uh, I think the normal one is two, but I'm gonna keep it to four because some there are parts of this game that gets really tough as balls. Uh, normal recovery time, all that good stuff. Uh, what are the extra options? I don't think I've went through those. Healing effect, you can have it be paused or not. Slide strength, I keep it at strong. Game priority is normal. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. And let's get this going. Six months before the rebellion. Do, 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 do. Mega Man, I have troubling news. Okay. Oh, I actually have to hit the button. <laughs> There's been an energy source at a nearby electric plant. Energy surge, even. I can read, I promise. Now the robots working there have started malfunctioning. Yes, as you can tell, I'm, I I did watch the Mega Man cartoon as a child. How did you How did you guess? <laughs> You and Justice Man must go and stop the robots. Robots. I hope nobody has already been injured. 
And we have an intro stage, for once. Mega Man, I'll search the other entrance for human workers. Good luck, brother. So, okay, we're in the game proper. Whee! Jump, slide. Just like Mega Man Unlimited, there is a dedicated slide button, or you can use slide like normal. And you can slide cancel, which... Ah, hey! How you doing? Mega Buster. Ah, this is actually an interest... This, yeah, this is one of the few NES-style Mega Man games that actually has an intro stage. Now, if you'll notice, I already have an energy balancer. You start with an energy balancer. Huh. Yeah, there we go. Whee! Oh, hello, Mr. Met. How are you doing? Ah, those things... Uh, those will come back and, and be a little bit more dangerous later on. Hello, pitfalls. How, do, uh, how nice to see you again. Ooh, they can drop big bolts. Hi, how you doing? Yeep, yeep, there we go. Huh? Whee! Wah! Aha! Uh -huh. I wonder what the O's stand for, though, on those shield attackers. It looks like O's or Q's. I'm not sure what those are supposed to mean. But oh well. And away we go. Oh hey! Can't get through here. Shoot that! And it opens. But we can't reach that. This, I think, is one of the more ingenious things they had done, and I wish they did this more throughout the game. Shoot! Hey! Yeah, they wouldn't open up for me. That's okay though. Whee! I like the fact that that, that um, the shots keep their hitboxes. Hey, Justice Man, how you doing? All the workers seem to have evacuated safely. Also, all hostile robots have been neutralized. Not all of them. Oh, hi, Shock Man. How's your sex life? You get out of the way. Okay. And I don't think I have a rush coil adapt. Well, wait. I have a rush. Can I get up there? There, There's one way they want you to do it. Notice these two in the middle. But I want to see something. Aha! Hi. I can get up here. Huh. Ah. I'll just do it this way. <laughs> Ow. And, of course, you lose your charge if you get hit. You know, like Mega Man 5. Ah! Hold still. Whoop. Yeah, he's meant to be an intro boss, so thus he's easy. Whoop! Whoop! Hi! Oh shit. Five, six. What you gonna do? Boom! And he's gone! And away we go. And we'll save. Always be saving. You might notice, what are some of these symbols at the bottom of these save files? You'll find out in time. <laughs> oh, 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 wait. Okay. It doesn't automatically send you back. That, that can throw somebody off. Threw me off a couple of times. Ah. I'm completely baffled, Mega Man. Functionally, he's completely operational. However, the shock altered his mental matrix rather strangely. Tests reveal no change in his behavior, but still, I can't be certain. Try to keep an eye on him and report anything unusual. I will. Uh, mm -hmm. He awakens. Present day. And here we are, our eight robot masters for this game. Yes, we did. We just did fight Shockman, but we fight him again. He comes back. Um, you'll notice at the bottom there's a shop, of course. Menu, you can take, you know, you go to save and everything, and then there's team. Every time you beat a robot master, you free one of your one of your fellow Rock Force members, and then you can use them to play the game. And each one of them is strong against one other robot master. Um, I'm gonna go with Crypt Man. When I was actually doing my test playthrough, practice playthrough, I started with him, and. It turned out pretty well. 
Now, Beat is in this game, as you might have surmised from uh, watching my uh, watching me go through the hello, go through the save files. Uh, so, but, but I, I will I'll let you know how to get him once I actually get a piece piece of Beat. Whee! It's like it's like a horrible version of of the the quick beams and. I don't know if they out... I don't even need that life. I have infinite. What am I doing? But oh well. That works. Uh, Indiana Jones. Oh, I hate these guys. These guys. These fucking guys. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Unlike most enemies that... Whoa. Hi. Let's just get through here. Unlike most enemies in Mega Man games where they come up if you get up to the edge, these guys wait until you're over. So you have to like kind of just just fall back and like oh shit! I hate these. And you will probably hear me spewing all sorts of hatred towards them as I go on. Although they do stick up there, so if you're below them, you can go under them. <laughs> yep. Nope. Denied. The zombie met. Oh, and these fucking bites. Fucking blades. Ow! That hurt. Yeah, no. I've bombing buzzard fucking mother. Yeah. They're not so bad in this. They weren't so bad there, but later on. Oh god. Oh hey, a Cerberus. Sweet. Hi. Ha ha ha. And unlike some, I don't remember how much, it, how well they did that in like official Mega Man games. But uh, if you try and pass it while it's exploding, it will damage you. I learned that the hard way. Oh hi. Goodbye. Eh. So, but yeah. Oh hello. Did not mean to slide. No 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 no. All right, get up there. Ugh. Do not want to fall down there. Hi! How you doing? Whee! Look at those faces in the background. Holy shit, that's kind of spooky. Spooky-ler! Well, it is Crypt Man. Uh, oh, hi. Oh! Don't think I don't see you flashing down there. Ooh! Me. Get out of my way. Ah, uh, spikes. Who's... Who does that... Eh. Okay. Ah, not you guys! This is where they... Oh, motherfuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. No. You will not drop me into the pit. You will not. No. Wow, that was close. Oof. That was close. Okay. Away we go. Whee! And... If I can't get any more lives... It's always good for a nice energy recharge. Hi. <laughs> okay. Crypt Man. Ah, let's see if I can do it without taking any damage. Whee! Hello. Oh, oh, that old Nintendo laugh and chuckle. Hi. much for not taking damage. I may as well go ahead and let you guys know now, the way you get a beat part, you have to beat a boss without taking any damage. Which I actually managed to do in my last playthrough. And rematches count, by the way. So you could very easily get beat. Ow! Ow! Motherfuck! Well, at least I can try again. <laughs> That was horrible. That was horrible on me. But that's okay. So yeah, beat a boss without taking damage. Uh, I think it resets if you lose a life, so... Yeah. Hi. Ah! Fuck! You weren't supposed to do that. You little fucker. Ah! Hi! 
Okay. There we go. Eee. Eh. Come on, die, please, die, please, thank you, come on. Huh. And whoop. Ah! Come here. Come here, take your spanking like a man. There you go. Uh, I took damage, obviously lost a life, but, you know, that's okay. Uh. Whee! You got a new weapon. Well, what is it? We'll find out. But first... Oh, hey, Nightman. Yay! We rescued Nightman, and we can use him in the next level. Or any other level, if I wish. Get equipped with... Crypt Cloak. <laughs> oh, that one's kind of fun to use. And it also, there's also blocks that look similar to how Mega Man looked, you know, with the whole white outline thing throughout the game. Um, yeah, there, there are blocks that you can jump on with that. I uh, got 20 bolts. No, no shock absorbers yet. Uh, we'll get them eventually. And there is an upgrade to the energy balancer. I'm not quite sure what the upgrade is supposed to do, but I get it anyway because why not? Uh, so, all right. As is per tradition when I do a Mega Man game that has an intro stage, of course the intro stage and the first Robot Master stage all goes in one video, so this is going to be longer than most of the other videos in this series. This is going to be a long one because I estimated about about 20 parts. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, and it does have to do with the uh, midpoint of the game as well. So, um, so but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. We're quite a few videos away. Uh, so yes, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do enjoy it, you know, you can hit the like, you can hit the subscribe, you can leave comments. Constructive criticism is always welcome. Um, and if you want to help out more directly, you can head over to patreon.com slash gomer21xx. Uh, $1 per production will get a, a lot of these videos. Well, I say a lot of these videos. The only videos that don't go up early are just like update vlogs that are for everybody anyway. But for things like this, you'll get them at least a day early. And I tend to upload these in batches. Mega Man games are particularly good for me to do it this way. So by the time you're watching this, if you're on Patreon and you're watching this, you're probably able to access uh, probably the first eight videos at most by the time this goes up. Who knows? Um, <laughs> depends on my recording schedule. Um, but yeah, and, and even though she doesn't do the title cards for this particular series, that was done by yours truly. Um, you can check out my girlfriend, Becky Hopkins, who does title card artwork for... Uh, my reviews, and she also does the title card artwork for the Saints Row 4 run, which is currently running right now. I think right now it's the second episode that's up at the time of this recording, so go and check it out, and leave me comments and feedback on there as well, if you wouldn't mind. But, if you want to check out her artwork and everything, you can check her out at becky-hopkins.com, and also, if you want to, you know, throw some money at her for some commissions, uh, head over to patreon.com slash beckyhop, and check out our comic Otherworldly. It updates Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. The link is down in the doobly-doo because I am a bad boyfriend and I forget to actually memorize the site. But uh, but even if even even so, even if you go to Becky, if, you know, to her uh, website first, Becky-Hopkins.com, you can check out the site, you know, the web comic from there. Uh, I'm rambling a little too much. Thank you guys for watching and for actually putting up with me rambling. So until next time, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian, signing off.